cease fire. It's a nice idea, but what's the point? It won't bring us home any faster. The sea what has to happen. Smart shards ought to be on real estate with Mesa views. Take a look at these words. Now we get to see if your attack on their focus network was entirely successful. What are you talking about? Did I crash the network or not? It's all should be well. Success. Welcome to the Citadel, Aloy. I'll check back with you in a moment. In the meantime, circulate. But just yesterday he seemed well enough. Apparently we're entrusting delicate matters to savages now. These are That's what he's doing, bringing in these outriders. Who does Avad think he... Outlanders! If you want to hear about today's bounties, head for the throne room. You're not going to make any shards by standing out here. Same old man every morning. I'll take the shards, even if it means having a listen of the house. I hear the Shadow Cards are looking for one of their own. Should pay well. Another savage. At least it's not as bad as Meridian. By the glory of the sun revealed. Behold, radiant Edaman, the one true sun king. The light in shadow whose will is light and whose light is law. I command Lucian Bahavas to speak in my behalf. By the will of Radiant Edaman does the sun glare down mercilessly upon the traitor Uthid. To the hunter who brings his head to us shall go a bounty of 500 shards. More prisoners than royalty, don't you think? Mm. Love your hair. You and I need to chat, little huntress. The green tent down in Shadowside? I'll be waiting. Kind of busy. We both know you're no killer for hire. Uthid is innocent. So come see me, while there's still time to save him. So, the way in I spoke of is right behind you. You've got to be kidding. Not at all. And you needn't worry about the Kestrels. They'll be too busy acting important to pay attention to you. First time in the Citadel, Do gotta see the sun ring from on high. Well, the Kestrels. Ah, was they the want us to see this, knew. boy. It They're not known to kick cooks kill us. If any songs been written about you? Uh, maybe. How about you? Only laments. We're the enders of songs. Machine spirit or man spark. We stop them all. Ah, charming. Warmth is for weakness. I meet my uncle every uh, day. Uh, just to what? reminisce about Meridian. But yesterday. This is insane. Hardly. If you're gonna watch some slaughter, you this is the place to do it. I don't out. like heights. The balustrade. You worry me, boy. It's a short drop from there. Worry me. Alright, so far me can't go.
Não vou descer por aí. You tell me that short drop. First time in the Citadel, got a balustrade. It's a short drop from there. Ah, they want us to see this, boy. It makes quite an impression. side of the tower. Look for a vent. I see you've been here before. Obviously. Now, it's very important that you hear what I'm about to say. I've shown you the way in, but this humble vent marks a point of no return. Before you descend to the depths here, you should be fully committed, equipped, and focused. No distractions. If you have errands to run, do them first or hold your peace. I won't tolerate whining. Is that clear? You'll tolerate what I give you, Silence. I didn't ask you along for the ride. All right. Time to die. I'm heading down. I've spent a lifetime trying to uncover the secrets of this world. Where the machines came from. How the old ones achieved such marvels only to fall into silence and death. A lifetime of failure. As year by year, decade after decade, I hit walls I could not break, doors I could never breach. Hello. Until a Nora Huntress marched out of the savage east. And, voila, for her, all the deepest secrets of the earth were laid bare. I suspect you will have an easier time with this door than I did years ago. Oh, for identiscan. Genetic profile confirmed. Entry authorized. Malfunction. 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 Are you, kidding me? you don't hear me laughing. Shut up. There's gotta be another way. Hey! Elizabeth Snowbeck here! Requesting access! Access request acknowledged. Root command functions available. Do you wish to proceed? I do! Get me through this door! Analyzing. Primary access inoperable due to mechanical failure. Emergency venting procedure likely to circumvent blockage. Do you wish to proceed? Yes. Emergency venting authorized. everything that will draw attention we won't have this place to ourselves for long now <laughs> we last i checked i was the one whisking my life down here yes fine now will you please get moving there's so much to learn in less time than i'd hoped welcome to project zero dawn zero dawn we found it are you really so surprised? Facility diagnostics detect multiple failures. Attempting repair. So, what was this room? An entrance hall, perhaps. Have a look around. Please take a seat and wait for your name to be called. A selection of beverages and snacks are available. A smaller room. Be prepared. 
but at this scale, be prepared. Please proceed into viewing room one for an important message regarding the purpose of your visit. What? What was this place? A holographic theater. ZD01 data intact. Initiating playback. Welcome to Project Zero Dawn. I am General Harris, Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff of the United States of America. I'm sure you've heard the rumors that Zero Dawn is a top-secret super weapons program, the technological miracle that will save us from the Pharaoh Plague if Operation Enduring Victory can hold off the robots long enough. The reason I'm sure you've heard the rumors is that I'm the one who spread them, and they are all lies. Zero Dawn is not a super weapons program, and it will not save us. Nothing will save us. And here's why. By the time the glitch was noticed, it was already too late. Nothing could stop the Pharaoh Plague. Nothing can. Its robots will continue to replicate and devour the biosphere. Life on Earth will be destroyed. Our planet reduced to a barren sphere. Global extinction is inevitable. No matter how many we kill, the robots just keep exponentially making more. If we had their deactivation codes, we could shut them all down. The entire swarm. But since their cryptographic protocols use polyphasic entangled waveforms, cracking a code set would take half a century. At best, we've got 16 months. Not exactly what you'd call a survival option. The destruction of a biosphere is not the sort of apocalypse you can wait out in a fallout shelter or a space station. There will be no Earth left to reclaim. Just a lifeless, toxic rock with several million pharaoh robots on it, hibernating, waiting for something to eat. This is the horrible truth behind the lies of Operation Enduring Victory. My lies. Lies designed to inspire millions of innocents to sacrifice themselves in battle. Why? One reason. To kill everybody. To buy time for you and the work you will do here. Zero day. The day that life on Earth ceases to exist is coming fast. It cannot be stopped. The hope of zero dawn is that something new might come after. But I will leave it to Elizabeth Sobek to shine that thin ray of light into the darkness. Harris, out. That doesn't make sense. Life on Earth didn't cease to exist. He said it could not be stopped. But it was. Somehow, somehow Elizabeth saved us. I've, I've got to keep looking. Find out how she did it. Castrils. They got in. Through the vents. Let nothing stop you from learning the truth. Spread out! If it moves, kill it! What is this place? Tomb? I'm getting to the fence, right?
previously worked for Faro Automated Systems. On the chariot line self-replication routines? I came here thinking this was a, a rendition. When your people took me, I, I thought, about time. I've been trying to swallow the guilt every day since... Since, uh... Would you like to take a moment? No, 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 I, I just... I really hoped Zero Dawn was a way to undo it all. My work, and... Yeah. Proud of We're it, too close to let try to prove this really stuff a concept and, and, the and in the labs, what did they in the, the, the light of creation, that first test run, when when you saw they understood their own structures, could rebuild themselves from memory and light. <laughs> try me now. with Suzanne Alpert, environmental scientist. Doctor? I'm sorry, I wasn't, uh... Just stating your name. What were you thinking about, Doctor? Nothing the General said, not really. I was on the Syzygy East response team in 2051, just after the second earthquake compromised the reactor. I still dream about it, after all these years. The red zone spreading on the imaging slowly, so slowly, like a hand opening its fingers. Your involvement in that event is why you were asked for by name. Really? That's interesting. Because nothing worked. Nothing could grow there again. It was a catastrophic failure. But the red zone is a blip compared to global scale biomass reduction. The biosphere and hydrosphere will collapse, render the Earth uninhabitable long before the robots finish us. Enduring victory can't buy time against that. So, you'd better show me what Zero Dawn really is. CDO2 data intact. Initiating playback. Elizabeth Sobeck. You've heard the bad news, and it's all true. The Pharaoh Plague is devouring the biosphere. Life itself will cease to exist. But does that have to be the end? What if we could give life a future? What if we could build a kind of seed from which, on a dead planet, life could blossom anew? This is the aim, the hope, of Project Zero Dawn. To create a super-intelligent, fully automated terraforming system and bring life back from lifelessness. What would such a system require? At its core, it would need a true AI, fully capable of making the trillions of decisions necessary to reconstitute the biosphere. An immortal guardian, devoted to the reflourishing of life. We call it Gaia. Mother Nature I... as an AI. But that's just the core of the system. She will need to be surrounded and empowered by a comprehensive suite of subordinate functions. Think of them as extensions of Gaia's mind, each dedicated to a specific purpose. Now these aren't AIs, but make no mistake, each presents an engineering challenge more profound than anything the human species has ever before attempted. Hardware that preserves and then gestates the billions of seeds and embryos from which life will be reborn. The construction of underground facilities to hold it all. And that's just the start. We don't have to build the entire system. The beauty of a fully automated terraforming system is that it can build itself. Now over the days to come, you'll learn how all these functions, all these pieces that you'll be working on, fit together. How we'll race the clock to execute our harvest initiatives, write the software, build the tech and the facilities. How we'll lock it down and seal it up before the inevitable occurs. But even more important, you'll know how it doesn't end here. 
how Gaia will generate those deactivation codes General Harris talked about and build the transmission arrays to broadcast them, shutting down the feral robots for good. How Gaia will not just build, but imagine any conceivable robot it needs to do its work across centuries. From detoxifying the Earth's ravaged atmosphere and poisoned seas, to the regreening of the Earth from cryopreserved seed stalks, to rewilding the Earth with animal life. And then, when all that is done, how a new generation of human beings spawned at cradle facilities around the globe will partake of Apollo. The vast archive of human knowledge and cultural achievement from which they will learn of us, our world. And most important, how not to repeat our mistakes. It's not an impossible dream. It is within our grasp if we work tirelessly and stop at nothing to achieve it. We can't stop life from ending. But if you will help me, help Gaia, we can give it a future. Join me and help make that future real. All right. but then remade? Yes, by a machine. A machine of creation. Elizabeth did this. For life. For us. But why Hades then? If it was part of Gaia, how'd it end up in the wreckage of a feral robot? And why does it want to kill me? And Apollo, the archive of knowledge, what happened to that? And Hephaestus. Taking over Cyan. I'm as confused as you are. Maybe the answers lie ahead. Opportunity to rebuild what I, uh, the, the, the damage that I, well, I, I don't feel worthy of it, but, but I, I will do it, absolutely. I want to stress that this was never about your culpability. Uh, it, it is to me. Dr. Sobek, Margo, they were smart to get out of Pharaoh when they did, but, but not one of us took it as a warning sign. It, it just told ourselves they weren't cut out for the BTRI cabals. That, that's the, the better than rapid innovation. Mm -hmm. uh, a better Mental competing, better than the next sense. guy, a, a better killing machine. <laughs> Isn't it just amazing how a century and a half of science fiction did nothing to swerve our species from the path of doom? I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm done with that life. I mean, I, I will work hard, twice as hard to earn this, for, for my family to have a place in Elysium. I never thought I that there could be uh, a torment. Intruder, get her. Fight or run. Whatever you do, don't die now. Got 
Seite. I hashed it out with them, what the point of Artemis was. I made it clear I wasn't on board for a global zoo. We haven't exactly proved ourselves to be great custodians in the past few thousand years. So the idea of a reconstituted biosphere, well, it's horrifying, isn't it? A complete horror show. We have no right to take a best guess at this stuff. But the alternative? Nothingness. For there to have been all this and then nothing. And with Charles Ronson running the show, I respect him. He's got a passion to it. He's hot-blooded. So I said, I'll do it. Is there another route? I'll put my all in this, this literally. Just be my focus. When the project is done, I'll take the medical option. Thank you. Count. configuration. Should check the door nearby. There's a part missing. Hey, Maybe there's a storage area. I'm done nearby. with Brett's incompetence, okay? Somehow. Hey, I'm done with Brett's incompetence. Will you find that missing body? This is how we this how we so should I grab you both then? Ok, 
Okay, restore the power to the door, right? Found one. Looks intact. That should do the trick. Now let's get that door open. Up, left, down, right. Up, up. That did it. Door should have power. Now to see what lies beyond it. Eclipse. They're here. Avoid contact. Lines look good. Gaia, it's yeah, up there. Easy. Second floor. Can you reach it? <sighs> so much for avoiding contact. What's all this here, boy? Yeah. Uh. 
bring back the four football. One of us died over here. Run from righteousness. Oh, over here. Anyone see anything? For a moment, anyway. Then get moving. You have to find Gaia. So Gaia. There were cops about to live.
Hello, I'm Margot Shen, and this is Hephaestus. As the name might tip you off, this is going to be the subordinate function that Gaia will use to make lots and lots of robots. Her personal forge, except it's not that simple. Um, so like, you probably noticed that only about a third of you are robotics engineers. The rest, experts in machine cognition, virtual heuristics, that stuff. Well, that's because we aren't going to be the ones designing and building robots. The last thing we... If Hephaestus was part of a system designed to save life, why would it use Cyan to make a cauldron? Why you... I think this is it. Elizabeth Sobek's office. But it, it's sealed off. More eclipse. Careful now. Welcome to Apollo, the collective memory of the human species and the wellspring of knowledge for future generations. I am Samina Ebaji. Until recently, I was director of the International Collective Memory Institute in New Tehran. As a heritage professional, I devoted my career to the preservation of human knowledge, creative endeavor, and cultural achievement. Apollo is, therefore, Apollo. the ultimate embodiment of a lifelong passion. All of this lost. Under the very worst. The ancients' greatest gift to us. Greatest? How about the fact we exist at all? To abide in ignorance is a curse, Eloy. You of all people should know that. See them. Let's the last of them. once more. In what should have been a cave of wonders. Yeah, we catch you, my ass. Yeah.
Welcome to Hades. Zero Dawn's extinction failsafe protocol. You mean the ultimate me killer me. app. Now, I know what you're thinking. The purpose of Gaia is to resurrect life. So why give her a subordinate function, only purpose of which is to wipe out life all over again? I mean, what the... what? Just plumb crazy, ain't it? Well, no, it isn't. I mean, looks like the only way onwards. What surprised me is that I was Welcome to Eleuthia, the crown and king of Gaia's subordinate functions. It is by Eleuthia that the human race will continue to exist. I am Patrick Brochard Klein, the Alpha in charge of this program. Now let one thing be perfectly clear from the outset. Eleuthia is not a genetic engineering project. Our goal is to preserve the human genome, not alter it. A snapshot of human genetic diversity literally frozen in time. The genetic components of our species unmodified. And Cradle oh, what? facilities. Elizabeth said a, a new generation of humans would be spawned inside such places. She did. By me. Oh, Mother Mountain. It was one of them? There's only one way to be sure. The hatch wouldn't open. Something, something about a corrupted alpha registry. Oh, I need to search Elizabeth's office. Like Though Capric form shows superior load-bearing capability. You're a quick study, Gaia, Dr. Sobek. You will undergo a brief period of unconsciousness during relocation to Prime and final instatement. Elizabeth, may I speak outside protocol? When you're back up and running at the new site, we will bring the subordinate functions online and we'll see where we stand. Elizabeth. Pure logic won't cut it, Ted. To pull this off, Gaia's going to need to have some skin in the game. It has to care. What if it runs amok? Have we learned nothing from our mistakes? Your mistakes, I think you mean? All I'm saying is give it a kill switch. She was just boring, Ted. I'm not gonna put a gun to her head while she's still in the cradle. It's not like it's a child. What if it becomes a monster? The yeah, construction men have that. I can't spare the weight. The Alpha Intelligent. Registry Master File. Intact? Yeah. No signs of corruption. Then what are you waiting for? Copy the file. With this, I can restore the registry at the hatch inside Allmother. Open it. Go inside. And grasp the secrets within. Not for you, for myself. Born. Maybe. Maybe who gave birth to me. Who? Are you really so naive? There will be no who waiting for you there, Aloy. Whatever birthed you into the world was a what, not a who. You bastard. Oh no, I had a legitimate birth. It's you, Aloy, who are the creation of a machine. But what kind of machine and why? Why were you created? What is... I kill you. Oh, God, oh. Eclipse. You need to get out of there. What you found is too valuable. You're too valuable.
still alive. Good. I have a more suitable death in mind for you, child. <laughs> My entire life, I've always known one thing with prophetic certainty. That I was destined for glory as a great champion of the sun. Even when Jaron was murdered, even when Meridian fell, I never doubted my destiny. Until you came along. When I heard that you had survived, a doubt took root in my mind. As sure as the sun rises and falls each day, those I am bade to kill die. And yet I failed. How? Why? With each dig site you attacked, each loyal soldier you killed, this pestering doubt grew. I kept thinking of the moment my knife pierced your throat. One twist, a simple tug of the blade, and you would have bled out. In slaughter, I am a practiced hand. So why hesitate? Why fail my destined purpose? I guess even a monster like you can have a glimmer of conscience. You didn't kill me right away. Turn your face to the sun, child. Dressing up murder as religious sacrifice so you could feel better about it? No. I never doubted the righteousness of killing you. And yet, your words touch close to the truth. In my heart, I deemed the order to kill you unworthy of me. You were just a savage girl. So I thought at the time. Even still, I aimed to kill you, and yet did not. This failing troubled my thoughts, haunted every step. It was only when I captured you down in that place that I finally glimpsed the sun's design etched at length across the course of events. You were meant to survive that day on the mountain. Meant to interfere at dig sites and kill my men. Conversely, I was meant to capture you. Here. So that you might die as a sacrificial offering to the sun. Everything as it was meant to be. Predestined and preordained. Spare me the religious justifications. You can dress up your cruelty in holy clothes and words if you want. But under it all, you're just a murderer. An odd slight coming from you. You've become quite a murderer yourself, child. A killer of killers, not a murderer. But I wouldn't expect you to know the difference. Hades is an ancient machine, not the buried shadow of Karja myth. It doesn't care about Meridian. It wants to kill everything and everyone. And you are its dutiful slave. I serve not the buried shadow, but the sun in shadow. All halves of nature joined to one cause. Shadow to sun, dark to light. Do you really not hear how ridiculous that sounds? You've gone from serving an insane homicidal Sun King to an insane homicidal machine. You're moving down in the world, not up. I'll remember those words as I watch your corpse burn. Whatever's left of it. You fail to grasp the point. As surely as you've been conquered, 
so yes. has all doubt. And with certainty of belief comes unstoppable force. Then get to cage and put your faith to the test. See if things work out like you expect. The circle has closed. Every element is in its proper place, exactly where it belongs. The errant beast, now caged, will serve her true purpose. A sacrificial animal. Oh, I'm gonna kill you. Speaking of sacrifice, I forgot to tell you. After you crash the Eclipse Network, I sent messengers into the east to rally the forces there and mount an invasion of the sacred land. I ordered every Nora killed. I was hoping to catch you there, but alas, it all seems to have been unnecessary. The Nora have no part to play in this. Leave them alone. Soon, they'll have no part to play in anything. That much is sure. In any case, I couldn't recall the order even if I wished to. Thanks to your destruction of the network, Dory. communication over distances is impossible. You not only doomed yourself, but an entire tribe. Do we not see the scorching judgment of the sun in these events? Your focus, such a powerful device, isn't it? And yet, so fragile. <sighs> so you see, this time, I did not hesitate. The knife yeah. has already been Top twisted. Faithful, rejoice! Our years in shadow are over. A new dawn trembles on the horizon. A new day soon to break. And when it does, the false Sun King will be dead, and Holy Meridian ours once more. In this, I have become an instrument of prophecy. All halves of nature join to one cause. Shadow to sun, light to dark, night to day. Behold! <laughs> Hold your seats! Can you not see the proof of the sun's blessing before your eyes? How else? Prowl in broad light of day. Were they not approved by the sun and joined to our cause? Many years ago, to consecrate this great ring, the Radiant Turan ordered many faithless crushed beneath the hooves of the behemoth. Mighty is the behemoth in the eye of the sun, but it is mightier still, infused with the power of shadow. Let this one, who schemed and slithered, be the first to die! Let her be the first of thousands!
pillar is weak. Another hit, and that pillar will come down. Gotta get out of the way.
Israël. So you're here. Really here. You risked your life. Of course I did. If you'd been killed, the Nora Sacred Mountain would never have given up its secrets. Too bad you wasted your time, then. Helis destroyed my focus. And the Alpha Registry with it. Not at all. The whole time I've been monitoring your focus, I've duplicated every data file you scanned. Installing that data to a new focus was trivially easy. Yep. Happy birthday, Isaac. Daddy sure does love his little big man. You're really good at making it impossible to like you, Silence. But I guess I need this. It's time to see where you were born. Maybe you'll even learn why. Yeah. Meet the machine that birthed me into this world. Isn't that how you put it? I'll be off. Wait. Yes? Since when can you override machines? Ever since you discovered the technique. I had to destroy a corrupted to obtain the necessary parts, of course. But your example showed me how to do that as well. Yet another benefit of monitoring your activities through your focus. Truth be told, the underlying logic of the technique isn't so different from rites practiced by Banuk shamans. Though, of course, far more advanced. Great. You're welcome, I guess. How did you track my location when I wasn't wearing a focus? Really, Aloy? It doesn't take a genius to surmise that Helis would throw you into the sun ring at high noon. I wore out two striders getting here in time, but I did. Now be on your way. Helis recognized you back in the sun ring. You told me that you'd assisted the Eclipse. Not that you knew the man who killed my... who almost killed me. So now you know. The man is a serious threat. So let's do all we can to make sure that he and Hades don't succeed. Right. I'll be on my way. To make matters worse, Helis ordered an Eclipse detachment to attack the Nora sacred land. The tribe's already weak. They won't stand a chance. You should come with me. Oh, absolutely not. I have preparations to make elsewhere. What kind of... Why do I bother asking? You're not going to tell me. When the time is right, I'll be in touch. I'll contact you later. In the meantime, should you need to return to Shadow Karja territory, I brought armor to conceal your identity. You think of everything, don't you? One of us has to. Aloy, when you were recovering the Alpha Registry down in the Zero Dawn bunker, I was needlessly cruel. For your sake, I hope there is someone waiting there for you inside the mountain. Not a what, but a who. Yeah! It's fine, I agree. 